Okay, so this is a cold start. So first we make sure our parking brake is on. We can set that by pressing here and setting the latch here. So now you can see it's locked down in the locked position. So this is irrelevant as long as we have the parking brake set. Here we go. Key point, this button has to be pushed in. Sorry about the radio. On. Air condition and heat. Your speaker one, speaker two, and your air vents. So typically you want to let tractor idle for five to ten minutes on a cold start. Um, here in Florida the temperature is roughly 80 degrees at the moment and the tractor was used yesterday but I anticipate that if you were up north and it's in a cold climate you want to let it idle for at least 10 minutes before operating and using. Here you can see the display button here is your info button. So if we wanted to see the temperature, you can see that there. Not much information displayed on the screen. Malfunction indicator lights. Just some other features. It is enabled and there is a feature where you can put a seven pin trailer harness on the back of the tractor and you can operate blinkers just like you would if you needed to tow down a road with your orange placard, along with headlights and a horn. As you saw earlier, you have low, medium, and high down here, as you can see. Here is your hydraulic lift up and down here. And this is your bucket or fork lift joystick. As you can see it is enabled for the third attachment for uh, a bucket to go on the back. It's already pre-wired and the hydraulic hoses are already ran for that option. So one thing to note, inside the cab, at idle it's not so bad, but if I had one con, one negative to say, inside the cab at 2,800 roughly RPMs is quite loud as you can see. We have ear, earmuffs here for ear, hearing protection because it is around 90, 80 to 90 dB inside the cab. We also have a windshield wiper. You have two doors inside of the cab model. Both can be locked. And you also have the rear hatch along with the rear windshield wiper that also opens. And it's just a little lever pull and open. And it cannot be open from the outside. So a couple more features. This lever, if you press that down, that is your rear dip lock. I push that down, it locks both rear wheels. This is your four-wheel drive. 
it's very easy. Just pull it up to engage. Push it back down to disengage. Do like that. This is your PTO engage and disengage lever.